Hey class, welcome to lecture two of our bioinformatics. Uh, I'm Dr. VDB. I got my producer Isaac helping me out here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about functions. We're not going to get super deep into functions because most of the functions that you'll encounter in this course are actually built into R. Uh, so we're not going to be writing a ton of actual um, novel functions, uh, but it's something that's good to know in case you do take this on further uh, than this class. Um, it's important to know how functions work. Um, also, even in using functions, it's important to know how they're structured and how they work. So let's dive into it. Okay, so let's start by annotating our code here and we're going to do, uh, just call this chunk uh, functions. And um, Let's give an example. So this is kind of a generic function. We have f as our function, then we have argument one, argument two, yada, yada, yada. You can have multiple, a bunch of different arguments. And so uh, let's kind of go further into this and define it. So uh, this is where f is the name of the function uh, and argument one, argument two, Da, 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 etc. Um, are the different, what I spell, sorry. Um, this on new line. Uh, are the different conditions uh, that we are asking the function to evaluate? As you can see, my spelling is great. All right. So let's give an example. So we're going to call this one example function. Um, a note when doing uh, making variables like this R does not like spaces so a lot of people when they uh, have two word variables uh, they'll just capitalize the second uh, the first letter of the second word uh, alternatively you could do uh, an underscore um, those are both uh, commonly used so in this case I'm just going to capitalize the second word there um, but if you do have a space it's not gonna run it's gonna say one of those words isn't defined so uh, example function so we're gonna call function and we're going to say X Y uh, and then on the next line uh, we're going to put in parentheses or in um, curly brackets C and then oops uh, parentheses oh my gosh here we go parenthesis uh, x plus one and then y plus ten we're gonna close that off and so uh, what this function is gonna do so we said our function's name is x y you can indent this um, if you to show that uh, this function is on the next line here is this is related to this um, if you get into a programming language like Python um, indentation really matters and our indentation is a lot more lenient um, but do know that if you go onto Python it's going to be screaming at you if you didn't indent this so anyways um, and then just put it right back it's cool there we go um, so what this function is going to do is it says, all right, our function is x plus y, and our arguments are this collection of these two arguments right here, where we take x, whatever we entered, and add 1, and we take y, whatever we enter, and add 10. And so that might seem confusing, so we'll run an example. So example function is the name of our function. So uh, our studio will also uh, do this to autocomplete, so you can either click on it um, or what you can do is just hit tab and it will autocomplete for you if it's a variable that's already been stored uh, in your code. Uh, and for our example function, now we use parentheses uh, to call our function. And we will say uh, 2 for x and 4 for y. So what we're doing is we're calling uh, example function, this function, and we're putting 2 in for this x and then four for this y. So what our function should do then is add one to the x 
and 10 to the Y. So if we run this, we actually have to run both these sections because uh, we need to R to evaluate what the function is. So we'll run this first. And so as you see up here, it stores our function in the global environment. Now, if we run this, perfect. We get x2 plus 1, which is 3, and then we get 4 plus 10, which is 14. Beautiful. Function works as designed. Um, so there are also some built-in functions. Um, so an example of this uh, that will be used, that we may use going forward. Um, so example built-in functions. Um, we can call exponents. Uh, so that's a built-in function. So if we say that, what's uh, the exponential of two? Um, so uh, we get uh, seven point three eight nine, etc. Um, we can do um, tangents. So if we do tan of two, uh, we run that. The tangent of two is negative uh, two point one eight five zero four. Uh, you can do logs. So log is something we'll actually use because the log transformations of big data is very common. Uh, so if we do the log of 12, we get 2.48. Um, we can also, so if I were to say down here, I do, I want to know what a function does. Um, what I can do is I can do question mark in the name of the function and run that. And then over on the right here, um, kind of under my picture, uh, or my live stream here, um, you'll see that our studio will give you a the documentation for it. So you can see that um, the different log usage you can call log of x, um, we can call the log b of x, we can call log base 10, log 2, uh, etc. And so if you keep going down it, it tells you all about this. Sometimes uh, we don't the documentation is for a package that's not based to R, it's something you added later. So what you can do is you can do two question marks and then type the function and it will actually search um, and you'll be able to look through uh, the Crayon archives um, to kind of find uh, all the things that match. So it's kind of like a web search uh, essentially. So um, let's add to our script up here. Let's do um, another, let's just do another log. So we'll do log and we'll actually use it as a function where we call x equals 12. Um, and um, instead of like log, oops, um, make sure your capitals, uh, R is very case sensitive, so I probably wouldn't have uh, liked that. I do, I had a capital L there. Um, so we can call base, which is one of the variables, and you see that as I type it in, um, our auto uh, completes a tip off for me and it will say um, what I can put in here. So a positive or complex number, the base will respect uh, with respect to which logarithms are, um, com are computed. Um, so defaults to um, log one, right? So let's say log base four um, of 12. We get 1.79, etc. Um, but sometimes if the, uh, you don't have to define all the variables. So as you see here, I type log and it tells me the, um, the arguments. And the two built-in arguments are what number you want to log transform and then the base. So for example, I can do log 12 comma four. And since base is kind of the default second argument, if I run this, I should get the exact same thing as if I call base four. Um, okay, so um, that's kind of just like a brief introduction to functions. Um, we will be using probably quite a few different functions, and we'll kind of we'll explore the arguments. But the key thing to remember here is, if you are like, what does this function do? Question mark uh, the name of the function. So we'll do a different one. We'll do that exponent that we did above. Um, see logarithms and exponentials that gets pulled up if we were to do question mark on uh, what else do we do tangent uh, question mark on tangent um, 
trigger not uh, trigger no metric functions. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a tongue twister for me. Um, and it says all, uh, tells you all the usage and the arguments. So you got x and y, um, which are numeric or complex uh, vectors, etc. Um, so that's kind of the basics. Um, like I said, we will be using our functions um, that are generally built in. We won't be defining a lot of our own functions. For the most part, we'll call packages. That's the nice thing about R is it's open source, so anybody can use it for free. Um, and the community has built a lot of things um, using R where they've defined functions that you can download and then just call the functions. You don't have to write the functions yourself. And so, um, but it is good to have an understanding of what's kind of happening in the background um, that these functions are being, uh, are written by somebody else um, and you kind of know how functions are written now um, and how to apply them. Uh, so that's it for functions. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and I will catch you in the next one.